Back in 1981, I had the opportunity to play football for the University of Texas at Austin. <clears throat> play, I use that term lightly, I was a freshman walk-on, which means I didn't do much playing. Uh, but I was uh, on this team that we had aspirations of being number one in the nation. We started off the year at number eight, and uh, we did everything you can imagine, just, just worked our butts off at the disciplines, the training, the preparation. And, and we had such a mindset about us of we were going to win the national championship. And every game we went in in preparation thinking that way. When we go to the first game of the season against Rice, we beat them 31 to three. Great preparation, great mindset, we win. Second game, North Texas, 23 to 10, we win. Same thing, great mindset of we've got to get to number one. Then all of a sudden we're ranked fourth in the country, still not where we want to be yet. And so we go into that next game against the University of Miami, who was one of the, the top 20 in the country. We knew this was going to be our test. And we had, again, the right mindset and the right preparation. And we win that game uh, 14 to 7. Well, now is the big rivalry. University of Oklahoma, Cotton Bowl. And uh, we're thinking that whole week, this is it. If we can win this game, we'll be number one in the nation. We'll only have one more team to worry about the rest of the season, SMU. And we've got to get our butts in gear, do all the right things. Our preparation was strong. Our training was strong. And we went into it thinking we've got to win this game. We've got to do it. We get there and we go into this, this match and, or this game, and it was amazing. We dominated 34 to 14 against the University of Oklahoma. We go to number one in the nation. Well, now SMU is a couple of weeks away, so we've got a kind of an off week, really. We're playing Arkansas. No big deal, off week. And we, we did. We went to practice every day. Uh, we were reading a whole lot of our press clippings about how great we were and all the things that we had accomplished the prior week against Oklahoma. We travel up to Arkansas, and not only did they push one of our buses over in the parking lot, but they managed to beat us 42 to 11. Well, that destroyed our season. Yeah, the next week we did go back to the right mindset and – started preparing again and doing everything we can to fight back for that number one because we had something we wanted. And we beat SMU. We beat everybody else the rest of the season all the way to Alabama um, at the final game of the season and ended up number two in the nation behind Clemson. We could have been number one. But what happened was we lost our mindset. That's the only thing that was different. We had the same players, the same disciplines, the same training regiments, the same practices, but our mindset's what changed. You know, in 2020, we went into a very difficult time in March. And the mindset that hit us because we had such uncertainty, most business owners and most businesses out there said, I gotta do whatever it takes. We gotta win, we gotta survive this. Now I know some people lost, and people didn't have success through this, but a large number of people had much greater success than they thought, and why? Because they said, we have to, we have to win. We have to get through this. And that mindset pushed them to do amazing things, innovative things. And they pushed through, they won. Again, I know some people failed, but larger numbers were successful because they had that can-do mindset that they were going to get there. Well, here we sit in December 2020, we're going into 2021, and I hear something completely different. I hear people saying, oh, no, we got to go back into more social distancing. Oh, we can't do as many things as we were doing before socially. And, oh, man, I hope that vaccine comes out soon because when we get back to normal, maybe life will be better. I'm going to tell you what, I can tell you how you're going to go through this next three, six, eight months. If you think like that, it's going to be similar to what happened when we went to Arkansas. You didn't have the right mindset. The mindset has to be, we've got to go get innovative again. We've got to go fight hard. We've got to go win. We've got to go do the things necessary to make us great. That's how you survived the first time. We've got to do it again the second time. Go get aggressive, get the right mindset. And let's win through the next few months. And maybe we'll do great things for people. We'll employ more people. We'll support more people. We'll get better outcomes. Get your mind in the right place. Get off the negatives.